shopping experience? It was delightful. Tell me, how much for the chips ahoy? Those will be 20,000. Mm. No sweat off my back. Keep the change. There you are. Looks like I can't afford anything here. Oh, I'm Don't sorry. Don't bother. Did you find everything, I mean, anything okay today? Excuse me? We both know you don't belong here. You're too poor to afford anything. Why don't you just save yourself the trouble and get lost? But, but I... But nothing. Now get out before I call security. Hello, ma'am. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps some chips? As a matter of fact, you can. Do you remember me? What are you talking about? Five years ago, you kicked me out of the store for being too poor. Now look at me. I'm Andy Kate. That was you? I had no idea- Silence! I'm the CEO of the store, but you only care because I'm rich, huh? I had no idea. It's just normally that those people are a waste of time. Those people? <laughs> well, this person's first act as CEO is to fire you. Andy Kate's business skyrocketed, and she is now a multi-billionaire. Bella lived to regret this decision, as she lost her prestigious job and now works at a 7-Eleven as the janitor. The message of this story is to never judge a book by its cover. You never know what's going on in people's lives. The message of this story is that it's really easy to steal when the cashier isn't looking.